Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 33rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about array pointers in PHP and we're going to check out some more array functions. So I've got a file opened up in my text editor. It's called array underscore pointers dot PHP and on line number six in this file I have the opening PHP tag. On line number 21 I have the closing PHP tag and in between these tags I have some PHP code. So the first thing that I've done is on line number seven I have uh, created an array variable. I've given it the name ARR and it has all these elements. So it has 11, 7, 9, 5, 13, 2, and 16, all numeric values. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some array functions along with the echo statement to see how we can get, you know, values out of this array and, you know, just display them on screen. And, you know, that's why we're using the echo statement. So the first function that we're gonna check out, the first array function that we're gonna check out is current. So what the current function does is, when you've just created an array and when you use the current function and pass the created array as an argument to it, it gives you the first element. So in this case, it's going to return 11 to us because 11 is the first element in this array. And uh, since we're using it with the echo statement, it's going to display 11 on screen. And uh, the next function that we're gonna check out is actually called next. And what this function does is, it takes the pointer that initially points to the first element to the next element. Right, so it moves it like one element forward. So, you know, the pointer that was pointing to 11 now is going to point to seven. Uh, and uh, I've used this statement again. So I've used the echo statement along with the current function and this time it's going to give us seven instead of 11, right? And uh, then on line number 11, I have used another array function and this one's called uh, end. And what this function does is it takes the array pointer to the last element in the array. And in this case, that's 16. So it's gonna take it from seven to 16. And again, I've used the current function to check out the value uh, you know, that it's currently pointing to, and that's gonna be 16. I've used the echo statement here to see that value on screen. And then uh, I have used a function called reset on line number 13. And uh, what this function does is, no matter where your array pointer is, it's going to bring it back to the default position, which is the first position. So it's going to get it back from 16 to 11. And uh, since we've used another echo statement and the current function on line number 14, so we're again gonna see 11 on screen. And uh, then I've got you know a little more code, but before we discuss this piece of code, let's check out the output of this file and see you know where we stand. So I'll type in localhost, and uh, then the name of the file, which is array underscore pointers dot PHP. When I press the enter key, I see 11 first, which is the first element in my array. Then we use the next function to go to the second element. So we see seven now, and that's because seven is the second element. Then we see 16, which is the last element. Remember, we use the end function to get this value. And uh, then we use the reset function to see 11 again, which is the first value, right? So, you know, in um, the previous tutorials, we've seen how we can use the for each loop to iterate over the elements in uh, arrays as well as associative arrays. And uh, if you are not too fond of using the for each loop, then there is another alternative actually if you want to move over the elements in an array. And uh, that is you can use the while loop. You know, now that we know uh, that all these array functions exist, we can use this knowledge along with the while loop to move through the elements. So what is going to be the condition of your while loop? You know, remember the while loop iterates over something till the time a condition evaluates to true. You know, as soon as the condition uh, evaluates to false, the while loop stops its execution. So, you know, we're going to use uh, the current function within the test condition, and uh, we're going to check whether the value that the current function is going to return is not equal to none or not. And uh, when it becomes equal to null, this condition is going to fail and, uh, you know, we'll stop executing. So, you know, we're going to start with 11 and uh, then we're going to move to 7, then 9, 5, so on and so forth. And when we get to 16 and we use the next function, uh, you know, the array pointer then points to null, right? Because after 16, there is nothing. So if you use the next function when the array pointer is pointing to the last element in the array, then it starts pointing to null. And that's when this loop is going to stop execution. So within the body of the while loop, I have two statements. The first one is to see the value that the current uh, array pointer, sorry, the array pointer is currently pointing to. 
and the second one is uh, you know to update uh, the you know uh, pointer value to the next element and that I'm doing using the next function right so I hope this makes sense and I also have uh, you know an echo and I've echoed out a break tag just uh, to make sure that I get all these values on different lines so when we see the output we see all the array elements we see 11 7 9 5 13 2 and 16 and all on different lines right so this is one a uh, way of uh, iterating over the elements in an array and uh, if you prefer using the for each loop then you can you know continue using that and uh, sometimes you might want to use uh, this method as well though anyway uh, that's it for this tutorial and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care